how you're doing. This is V Diamond in the Rough. And for the YouTube creators out there, how devastating is it that you've gone and done a recording and that record, we've looked up and gone, that record button's not on. I've just gone through and shown a heap of stickers that I've received in the mail and I've looked up going, oh, how long has this been going for? And it's like, no, nah, it hasn't been going at all. <laughs> anyway, hey Gems, how you doing? This is the Diamond in the Rock. And short whip and chat. Um, this was, so I was just showing some stickers that I've actually just received in the mail. I actually took them out of packaging and told you all about them uh, in the non-recording recording. <laughs> um, but I will go through and show you some of them because this is part of the planning side of things and uh, I don't do box, I'm not going to be doing boxing for stickers but what I thought I'd do is just share some of the stickers that you get um, and how cute they are. I absolutely love this. This is stickers by Kate. She's actually, she's Australian. You can see, hang on, where are we going? You can see the foil actually, watch. Uh, actually, on the letters, on the dates, days, you can see the foil on there. There we go. They're really cool, really, really cool. And yeah, really showing up there. Um, but yeah, so I finally settled on what I'm going to do. And if you haven't seen it already, on the on the my front page of my channel. I've actually added in um, a playlist called Plan With Me, which will be every video that I record and put onto the Plan With Me channel will actually be in that playlist. Um, so yeah, I thought that was, um, I think that was the best way to do it. Otherwise, I mean, you could just subscribe to that channel and go check it out. <laughs> There's me being cheeky. Um, so this is another one. This was from Hello Jane, yet again, another Australian. Um, and in Australia, it's it is winter, so yes, it is cold outside. <laughs> but one of the things that I saw on this, which is what is this has, she has an order tracker sticker, so you can actually put down on this sticker how much you spent on the shop when it's been shipped, or tick that it's been shipped, and tick that it's been received, which I thought was really really cool. Uh, these are weekly kits, so you just use one of these kits to decorate a week at a time. Okay, and then my other one that I pulled out and showed was actually from Mum and Me, yet again, another Australian um, lady. Uh, just trying to find, and the cute little sweater weather, cosy, cosy vibes. So yeah, that was just something I wanted to share because uh, yeah, this is about the only time you see these is actually I'll probably do them here because I won't do unboxings of stickers on the channel. Um, what I'll just do is when I'm actually using the stickers, I just mention where they're from. That's all I'm gonna do. But anyway, so yeah, check check out the channel. Um, I've done I think five, six videos. I did one today, well no, sorry, it took two days to do, so I started yesterday, finished it off today and it's in the background doing what it has to do, um, but it's what they call sinking funds, so I don't know if you guys know about sinking funds, but I did sinking funds envelopes for the first time today and I was very nervous about it when I started. Um, but I will say, when I finished stuffing the envelopes with the cash, the relief it actually gave me was um, very surprising, actually. It's like I know now that I'm not going to have to, if I keep doing this every pay, I'm not going to have to try and find this money at Christmas time, at birth, that time when I need tyres, when my car registration is due. So um, it's really, really cool, really good. Um, um, but yeah, I'll leave that there because I also want to talk to comments, obviously. So I've just finished my last day shift. I'm about to go on to night shift, so I'm up a little bit later tonight. Uh, I want to talk to the comments. I've got a few comments there. 
Um, and so, hang on, I will get my my mouse here and I'll try not to hit the stop record button. <laughs> Uh, and we'll go through some of these comments. So from the oldest comment, okay, from the oldest comment, uh, which was from Anna, um, she's had several kits that come in plastic bags. So that was when I was kidding up, not on the Great Railway. She had several kits that come in plastic babies and she's just worked from babies. I have worked from babies. I do actually, I do mind it because it's really quick to start working on something like that and I should turn my notifications off. Um, so yeah it's really quick to work out a bag as well there's that less bit of mucking around and all of that so uh, mine was yeah just I think because the bag I wasn't happy with the bag that was um, I know that I open and close open and close so many times these bags that I end up splitting the bag so uh, put them in a kit. <laughs> Put them in a containers. Um, okay, so then I go to the next one, which is the Inku subscription box. So, oops, 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 hang on. That was a bit special. It's a bit rough with that. Um, yeah, the Inku subscription box. What can I say? You're a dog. <laughs> um, I think I've spoken to this about everybody else, but Terran's gone. Love the nails, by the way. Uh, for the price, it's not worth. Most of the stuff is like two bucks. So yeah, no. Mm. Absolutely, Terran. Absolutely agree with you there. Um, I will say so. My nails are at the end of their life. It's time for the fresh ones, so uh, keep an eye out for the next design. So you'll find you might get a bit of a surprise with the next design. It's always cool. I never know what I'm going to do, but yeah. Okay, so thank you, uh, Terrilyn, for the comment on the nails. Short whip and chat. Geez, I've got a few comments on that, which is pretty cool, Rachel. Yeah, I think you made up for it. <laughs> so Koala Cross wants to see the unboxings on this channel. Anna's uh, gone. Thanks for the chat. Michelle Mills, I think we could have all your other unboxings on one channel. It would make it much easier for you and less stress. Um, yeah, what I what I came up with in, in that way is I still make just the one video instead of trying to edit it for two two channels. So that I'll just put all the planning and the budgeting stuff there. Uh, if you're interested, um, you know, check it out or go look in on my main page. Uh, but I think what I might do in my plan with me is if I have an unboxing, I'll put a link to it and say, here's the unboxing that I've just done of this, so that then you're not having to dig through and you can just uh, check it out that way. That's my thinking. But, um, yeah, I, I want to stick to keeping this with the craft channel. Yeah, I might still talk about planning, but, um, yeah, I think this one deserves, you guys, uh, you know, you guys deserve this to be a craft channel and can watch me watch watch me work on crafts and go through things. Um, I do want to, I need to start ordering more diamond paintings. Um, my thing is, is I don't order much because I always go for the big ones that last so long and because I do other crafts as well. Um, but yeah, if there's any companies you reckon I should check out, pop them down below, let me know. I'll see what I can do about checking them out. I've got to find some new companies to uh, work with and give it a go. Um, it's always interesting when you see find a new company. I'm not a big one on the AliExpress, but everywhere else uh, I'm pretty happy to give it a go. Um, Elizabeth Adams, paint is beautiful. You got quite a bit done since last time. Yes. Um, how much did I have? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was only I've completed that section. <laughs> Had to check to see how much I've done since even that last one. So yeah, have gotten a bit done. Um, yeah, you can now see his eyes. Can we pull just one? Just further sort of like that one up. There we go. Okay, then we go on to the big one for Rachel. <laughs> um, I think you've made up for it here, but Rachel's gone. I need to make a list of all the things I want to respond to when I'm watching. I always watch a short whip and chat while I'm in bed knitting first thing in the morning. 
Today I'm binding off my shawl. So exciting. I'm sure Boy smells fantastic when he's being washed. <laughs> Uh, your aunt had a shop hey, called Ojo and he had a bit of a funk. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, even the dog's happy he gets when he's washed that he's clean. <laughs> oh, but we love our dogs, think you or no. True, true. Luna is me, 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 and she agrees that bath time is no fun. I think you're going to the sea today. Got a new harness for your garment and hoping to get Fun footage in the sea. Oh, 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 gotta look at that. Gotta watch that. That's gonna be cool. As for planning, I think you should keep going. Don't get discouraged. Sure, it takes time to break into YouTube algorithm. In the meantime, please share with us because I need to learn. I suck at budgeting. Please help. Rachel, I'm because I have disposable income, I am absolutely horrible at a budgeting and I will say my kids thankfully didn't get my impulse spending um, that my, my, my kids can save money and I don't know they didn't learn it from me and I don't believe they learned it from their father either <laughs> maybe they learned that they have to save from both of us <laughs> yeah um, but yeah check out sinking funds that, that just gave me so much just doing the first one, it's just given me just that little bit of a relief. Um, I will say you do hear me when I work it, work out what I need to put aside each pay to reach the target amount and date. Um, so I'm just like going, ooh. <laughs> um, but it's, I've still got to find the money at some stage, so it's might be better to go a my uh, an ooh for this much as opposed to an ooh for all the whole lot. Yeah. But yeah, Rach, have a check that one out. <laughs> when it's when it's up. <laughs> okay. Um, hundred percent with you the main about the man in the house. He was leaving alone, but he managed to bang every door and click every grass when trying to focus. I find it easy when he's away. Please take care, stay alert. Don't know how you do your job, but kudos to you. Can't do high stress. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Um, yeah, that high stress, it, it's pretty cool actually. Um, I had a meeting today, and I will say, we're, in, in Australia and no doubt all around the world, there is a big push of what they call inclusion and diversity. And that push is so bad that they shove it down your throats and um, it discourages people. So one of the things I've found at the moment is they're, they're trying to encourage women in the workforce and diversifying in that way and also for Indigenous. And it's really, really hard to get to the point where um, we had, there was... All the females and all the Indigenous people in our crew got invited or requested to go in to have these meetings to ask why we would consider leaving. And all the white Caucasian guys in our team were excluded. So they knew we were all going to these meetings to talk about why we might want to leave the job, what we think is bad of the company, what would encourage us to go. And then you've got these white guys that are going, getting excluded from the conversation to go, well, don't they care what we think? <laughs> um, so I had a fair, fair, fair go at this meeting. Um, I said, you know, you guys make it such a big buzz about achieving and setting targets to do this. And I said, it's, they came out and did the inclusion and diversity for the LGBTQ um community and I hate that they've, laid, they've done that um, because with our team I think when I first joined train control or IPRO so it was before I became a train controller our team was consisted of five people that were brand, brand new roles for creative for, creative, for five people and there was one guy, three, uh, one guy and four girls. So that included me. So one guy and four girls. 
But out of those, there were only two that actually liked men. So there was three that chased women and two that chased men. Well, you know, were attracted to them. Three attracted to women, two attracted to men. And you know, that's how diverse we are. And then they actually get there and point out, oh, well, we've got people with these different communities here and here and here and, you know, hey, we're doing a great job of it. It's like, well, now you're really pointing it out and not making them feel included. You're just putting them to up on a pedestal and say, here they are. And there we go. I'm talking with my hands because it's something I'm passionate about. Um, yeah, it's just... You want to do inclusion and diversity, but by pointing out that you have people like this and, and holding them up as an example, you're not actually, um, I'm not saying inclusion, but you're not um, recognising the fact that you have people that are like that and you value them, but you don't want to pinpoint them and make them. There were some people that went through all that stuff and it's like, you know, they're, they're almost embarrassed to say that they are because it's highlighted so much, because um, they were saying, oh, we're hiring so many more people in this spot that would like this and so many people like this. And, um, it ended up in a situation where people, some of the people that were in those groups that they were pointing out were going, I got my job on merit, not because I am this way inclined. Um, geez, I just got on a high horse on that one. Um, but going back to all the steps back to the, the high stress job, the comment on that was I turned around and said in this meeting, I said, you know, you've highlighted how well you're doing with it and what you want to improve in your inclusion and diversity. I said, but you look at what you've done on the mental health side of things. I said, you, BHP, the company I work for, does so well in mental health and identifying it and being so supportive but they don't hold it out to say, look at how we're doing with this to um, point out to people that you know, people with mental illness. They just do it without pointing it out and having to say how good they are at it. You know, I've been I've been in my I've been with BHP for nine years now and yeah, it's quite interesting to say in nine years, every interview I have ever been in, I mentioned that I had the illness. And that has never been a stigma in any way. Uh, my interviews with my, my first meeting with my supervisors have all said, this is what I have. And they're going, right, oh, what do you need from us? What do you need us to do? There was no hoo-ha, no fuss, no nothing. It was just, yeah. Whereas, yeah, they're, they're actually throwing more stress and pressure on people purely because they're trying to enforce the diversity. And then when you start getting like that, it's ridiculous. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. Holy cow, sorry, guys. But that meeting was today, which is why it's so fresh in my mind and I'm pissed off about things. And I actually gladly pointed out that they have, that in what they did in these meetings we went to, they have actually done exclusion. They have excluded people. Um, yeah, because they're saying why women and Indigenous people are more, they have a higher turnover and it's like, well, because they're female and they're Indigenous and all across the, the mining companies, they're all trying to get their stats up. So all the women and men are applying, but it's only the women that are getting hired because that's all they want because they want to get their stats up too. <laughs> you haven't stopped and asked why the guys want to leave because they just don't get the opportunity because they haven't been able to get the jobs because they're all going to the women. Yeah. Thankfully, I think this guy took it on board. But I went off. <laughs> I didn't think I had much to say to him. Hmm. Okay, sorry guys. That goes back onto that tangent. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, um, Rivka has just gone, this painting is beautiful. Uh, did I take the picture of the big cat and then make it into a diamond painting? Rivka's got two customs coming from Diamond Shop, so exciting. Thanks for sharing. So Riv, yes, this is a custom and this is a diamond custom. And this is a picture I took when I was in South Africa, sitting under a tree and we just sat in a, well, the open Safari vehicle sat down there on in this open safari vehicle. 
and this leopard was up in the tree and we were just sitting there taking pictures and being nice and quiet. Um, Mindy, <laughs> yep, she understands as well, like Rachel, anyway, I'm trying to find my A's, there they are. Um, <laughs> I absolutely cannot recall when my husband was home at the weekends, too many damn interruptions. Yeah. Even now, now it's night time, Nathan's on the couch, but he will turn around and go to the fridge, get drink and fill it up with ice and all of that and it's only just on the other side of the wall behind me. Um, my neck, that's in comparison to when I was actually in this in the uh, office area which you know, is right at the kitchen. Um, yeah, I do get some break from it but I still get the noise. Uh, lots of fun with that noise. And uh, Fee from Oz, hey Fee, happy to see your planning videos and all unboxings on this channel. Okay, cool eyes. Um, thank you. Um, I think it's just going to be for the planning side of things, it's just going to be sharing some of the stuff that comes in just to see the cutesy stuff. Um, I've lost what up letter I was doing. Okay, so let's see if I've managed to not hit the. Yeah, I'm still recording. Woohoo! <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to leave it there because I've wrapped it on and then I've waffled and then gone completely off track. I don't know if you can, if you can hear it. We've got sirens going around the place and we live in a very quiet part of the uh, suburbs. Yeah, sorry, stop to listen to the uh, signs. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave that there now. I think I waffled on and got distracted. Um, I'll uh, put this video together, upload it and get it out. Um, I might not get it out tomorrow. I'll probably get it out the day after. Um, uh, yeah, I think I uh, just want to get it out today. Get it out like I normally do. I normally film with these short whipping chats in there, sorted out and published. Um, so what I do when I edit them, I upload them. So then first thing in the morning when I get out of bed, I make sure this shit is meeting as it needs to be. Um, but I, um, I don't even know if I'm getting out this time because I need them really good sleep. Um, yeah, something else is going on there. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. And I'll walk for you. <laughs> so James, comments below, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, hit the subscribe button to notify when I do more uploads. I do have things on their way. I do have my next custom environment shop on its way. It's with FedEx, which means I might see it in a week. For international priority, FedEx just don't do it in Australia and other countries. Um, but anyway, that's it. I will say catch us later, guys, and uh, bye for now.